So let's uh, let's move on to the next game, which is uh, <laughs> it's gonna be hard to top that uh, in stupidity. But this is Merry Gear Solid, which is something I actually I found a few days ago. GPM streamed it yesterday, which I I felt kind of bad. Sorry, GPM. I didn't want to take your stream idea, but technically. I had it before you did. Yeah, I think the crackle, whenever I remove a source from XSplit, it crackles. So I, I actually have no control over that at this point. I, I don't know why this is a thing that is happening. So I'm sorry. When I open and close games, it's CPU related. Yeah, so, you know, there you go. There's your Christmas crackles. Um, I don't know. One day. One day I'll figure it out, or maybe I'll just take a bat to the computer and then that'll fix all of the problems forever. So let me change this. Actually, you know what? I'll leave it. So next is Merry Gear Solid. Let me see. Can I resize this? I can, actually. Very good. <laughs> Merry Gear Solid, Secret Santa. All right, here we go. Oh, it's good already. So I'm Santa. Nick. It's been a long time, Tiny Tim. What the oh, fuck? they stopped calling me that 20 years ago. Just Tim will do. 20 years? <laughs> yes, it's been 20 years since the Ebenezer Eve incident. The world has changed since then. Military surveillance crafts have been circling the skies in a response to the 9 11 attacks six years ago. Oh. That's why it's far too risky to let you deliver the presents the traditional way. The traditional way? We can't risk having you Sorry. spotted soaring through the sky on a sleigh. With the nation on high alert as it is, there's far too great of a chance you'll be branded a national threat. So that's why I'll be delivering gifts by foot, I presume. Precisely. This is a top secret covert mission. From this point on, we'll be referring to each other by code names. My code name will be Major Tim. And yours, Nick, will be Solid Santa. Solid Santa? Major Tim. To it. So what's the mission? Your mission is to infiltrate this house and to deliver the presents you've got in your sack to the Christmas tree. Located on the topmost floor. Sounds easy. It's not as easy as it sounds. Most Everyone's got a snake impression. Now, Mine's a the worst. Of naughty, naughty I win. Might be wandering around trying to get a peek of their presents before morning. So I get to throw coal at them, right? No. This is above everything else a stealth mission. You must not be discovered, or the mission will be a failure. Do whatever it takes to stay out of the enemy's field of vision. To make things easier, you'll need to make use of any tools you find in the house. I'll be giving you advice and instructions via codec. My frequency is 012.25. Oh, All wow. Right. It's an amazing production value already. Santa. This is pretty incredible. All right, so I am Solid Santa. Look at that. I can actually sneak around. Um... Fucking major. Volume. Made it into the house. Got loud again. Yeah, it looks clear. I'm just gonna run for it. Everybody's gotta be asleep. Santa, wait. You want to make sure you aren't running into a trap. Walk up to a wall and press the arrow key towards it. You should start to hug the wall. By hugging the wall, you can see what's up ahead. Hugging walls. What is this? Happy Funland? Happy Funland? Holy shit. <laughs> Is this another thing that fucking gets loud? No, it's just, it's just, that's how loud it is. Okay. Okay, so I have to sneak in. I have to sneak by kids so I can deliver their presents. This really is an amazing concept for a video game. If only... If only they had used some of these mechanics in Metal Gear Solid 5. Santa Claus! What? Santa Claus! Santa Claus! Ah, fucking skull fight. 
Yeah, I know, the dialogue is really quiet compared to the music. There's nothing I can do about that. Sorry. Santa Claus! Bobby, <laughs> why are there any presents under the tree? Santa Claus? Santa Claus! Such good voice acting. Oh, uh, do I get a gun? So does Santa Claus Santa get the ability? Claus. Santa Claus! Santa Claus! At what point do I get to shoot the children? That's my ideal Christmas. You fucker. Bobby, why are there any presents under the tree? Santa Claus? Santa Claus! Like, you get no room for error. If they're even facing the direction you're in, you're, you're fucking beansed. You get beansed hardcore. Okay, we're gonna just- we're gonna go this way. Can't go that way, never mind. Okay, those are not real doors. These, these are real fake doors. Oh. Oh god. <laughs> um. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay. Tell me more, Santa, Major Tim. What's wrong? There's a guy blocking a really narrow hallway, and it's so annoying because I can't get past him. Shoot him. What am I supposed to Authorize do? me to use a gun. Fat air. Oh, relax. Try distracting him by making a noise. Hug a wall and press the control key. The kid will investigate the sound, so try to slip past him while he's not looking. That's weird. The cropping in this game is actually really not so great. The old switcheroo. What are you talking about? Strange. That kind of trick only works on five-year-olds. Santa, the first rule of the battlefield is to know your enemy. Only then can you fully understand how to overcome it. What are you trying to say? That the trick will work because they say. are five-year-olds. Oh, right. Huh? What was that? <laughs> what was that noise? Just my imagination. Brilliant voice acting. Oh, we got more. More call. Okay. All right, now this one's impossible. I know there's no easy way past this one. Santa, you did you shoot already them. forget about your Christmas Please spirit? let me shoot them. What now? Your Christmas spirit. It's like telekinesis, except a lot less useful because it's limited to turning on televisions. Wait, what? Simply that you possess yep. the power to turn on a television just by thinking. S Santa you know, has this power. Move your mouse cursor over any television set on the map. You can turn it on by clicking on it. Any children with an earshot of the That's television will automatically specific power. turn towards it. Nothing can resist the magnetic pull of the television screen. This is amazing. There's got to be a catch. Well, the thing is, you can't turn them off. A five-year-old child has the attention span of a goldfish. And unless you can change what's happening on screen, he'll lose interest in a couple of seconds. And I'm guessing I can't change channels, huh? Afraid not. What a useless power. Uh, huh? 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 What was that? Or I could just do that. that that's good too. This is a very specific thing that you have to do, and it can only be done once. Oh, whoops. Um. Huh? What was that? Santa Claus! <laughs> Santa Claus! Okay, Santa I, I know, Claus! you're gonna use the TV at the exact right moment. Okay, I have to piss. Not in real life. Huh? 
what was that? Do you think Santa Claus, like, pinches a massive loaf after all those cookies? Like, one in every 3,000 houses gets loafed on. Like, cause he's, he's gotta, you know, he's making the rounds. He's gotta make his rounds, too. Here we go. I got it. I got the gun. It looks like you found a new item. Finally, I can shoot yeah, children. No. It's just a gift box. I got plenty of those in my sack. Oh, that's no ordinary gift box. What do you mean? That gift box has air holes. Air holes. Air holes. That Assholes. That gift box was specially Kids. designed for wearing. Wearing. Yes. By holding the shift key, you can access the inventory. From the inventory, select the gift box item to put it on. Oh. Once you've equipped an item, you can tap the shift key to quickly put away or take out the item. What good is wearing a gift box? What is my head gonna do? It's a disguise. As long as you're not moving, you'll look like an ordinary gift box so the children won't take notice of you. Well, and they won't want to go open children it. children attracted to gift boxes? Well, that particular gift Thank box is Thank you for saying that, bombs. Santa. It's full of bombs? If what? If you believed it is, would you approach it? No. Then yes, it's full of bombs. In this post-9-11 world. Don't worry about it. They're children are afraid every them. package has bombs in it. <laughs> That's, is that the reasoning? <laughs> Amazing, amazing logic. The leaps of logic in this game. I love it. Santa Claus. What? Oh, you fucker. Mommy, does that exist? No? Mo Santa Mommy. Claus! It's just a box. It's just a box. Why are there any presents under the tree? Santa Claus? Santa Claus! That. Uh, oh, a Christmas present that could surpass Metal Gear. Alright. Oh, God. Major Tim, I'm trying to do my father's. Who's this? You're gonna set off an Oh Who shit, a plot you? twist. It's it's let's just say I'm your number one fan. It sounds just Copy. like Solid Snake. Santa's little helper. Santa's little helper? How do I know I can believe uh. You don't have to believe anything. But if you want to get out of this mission unnoticed, you don't have much of a choice. So maybe it's just best if you believe what I say. Well seeing is believing. And I don't see any alarm systems here. So I don't believe a single thing you're saying, either. If you can only believe in the things that you can see, you're gonna be a very unhappy man. What do you mean? Well, oh. can you see gravity? No, but... Well, if you can't see gravity, you wouldn't believe in it. And if you don't believe in it, you'd be floating around. But you're not. And since you don't believe in it, but you're not floating, you're just being a hypocrite. I but... And nobody likes hypocrites. And so nobody's gonna like you. And that's why you're gonna be a very unhappy man. I guess you're right. The okay. story... <laughs> I believe you. Good. The story is getting a little... Philosophical. The beam is invisible to the human eye. So how am I supposed to get past it? I'll let you figure that out by yourself. For someone named Santa's little helper, you sure don't help that much. I'm a little helper. Not a big one. <laughs> Yeah, um, guys, the story is making my head hurt. It's making me think a little too much. Why is it that these Metal Gear games have to constantly make me think? Uh, I guess we're not gonna go to the right then. Is that, is that bad? Over here? This is bad. Santa Claus! What? Oh, None of there's bombs in the box. The tree. Santa Claus? Santa Claus! Is any of this gonna be canon for Metal Gear Solid 6? Oh. Mommy, does that exist? No! <laughs> Santa Claus! I want Metal Gear Solid 6 Sons of Sons. That's what- guys, this is Sons of Sons. Cause it's kids. 
Oh my god, this is Metal Gear Solid 6. Candy cane. Santa, it looks like you found a candy cane. Yeah, but what's so special about a candy cane? That's no ordinary candy cane. Read the wrapper. Seize candies. That's right. That particular candy cane is a Seize Candies brand candy cane. Since it's from Seize Candies, naturally it will help you see. No, what? obviously. Did someone warn you of a laser security system that was invisible to the human eye? You're telling me that eating this candy will help me see those lasers? Only if you believe it can. What's all this baloney about believing? What if I don't believe? Then no one well, will believe in you. This entire mission will have been for nothing. What? Santa, the most important thing about Christmas is believing. You cannot- no, I don't have time for this. I, I love that Santa is the most skeptical person in this game. Oh my god, look, he's smoking it, guys. <laughs> you don't smoke candy can- wait a minute. Can you smoke a candy cane? I wonder. Now I wonder. Joe Rogan, I got something I think you need to know about me. I smoke candy canes. Look, a lump of coal. Some kid is gonna be very upset in the morning. Did you just step in a pile of coals? Yeah. Why? You're going to leave behind footprints. No. Why'd you have to step on the coals anyway? Because there's out no way around it. my job. Don't you... You're the only one that's allowed to make children cry. Don't you question my life choice. Don't you tell me how to idiot. live my life, Tim. But you'd better get out of there and fast. The children will follow your footsteps. Wait. Now the children are gonna try and steal my job? I said follow your footsteps, not follow in your footsteps, you idiot. <laughs> getting a lump of coal this Christmas. Huh? Who was that? No one. <laughs> oh my lord. This coal leaves a lot of footprints behind. I stepped in one lump of coals. One lump, some, of coal. D camera. Santa, it looks like you found a nice digital camera. What good is a digital camera on a stealth machine? For D pictures. Well, you can use the flash as a distraction. That's brilliant. How do you come up with this stuff? When I get bored, I think of ways to annoy children. Really? No. No. But how am I supposed to take photos of them without being seen? Wait, that wait, wait, why? No, 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 Santa. You don't, you're, you're, you do not take area. pictures of press kids. Press the control key to place the camera. Once Bad. Once set, press the control key again to set off the flash. This will blind anyone within sight of the flash. However, you can only use the camera six times in one area. Why? Film. Oh, gotcha. Keep in mind that if a guard sees a digital camera... So not only does he... Br a, if a like an old... Camera, it will gross man... What are we gonna breaking do? into people's homes in the middle of the night. Now he has a camera called the D-Camera. Who is that? Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. End gun. Oh, finally, a nail gun. Now so, I can shoot them in the face. Like oh, nerf it's a Nerf yeah. gun. But what good is a Nerf oh, gun? They nerfed this thing from the last time I had well, it. It's a specially modified Nerf gun with tranquilizer bullets. What? Once you have the Nerf gun equipped, hold the control key to aim. You can change your direction while aiming, and you can see a little further up ahead as well. To fire a dart, let go of the control key. Keep in mind that you've got a limited quantity of darts. What happens when I run out? Well, your darts get refilled every time you enter a new area. Wait a second. That's completely unrealistic. Are you seriously complaining about realism in a game about Santa Claus? Wait, what are you implying? Why does Tim Nothing. look like the Monopoly Man? Bye. Why are
there any presents under the tree? Santa Claus? Santa Claus! They should put some thumbtacks on this Nerf gun. Not that I'd know anything about that specifically. This time, um, hmm. what's the best way to do this? No, that's not it. I have to. I, I know what I have to do. I have to wait for him to turn around and then shoot him. When he turns around. Wow, this game's actually making me think a little bit. I didn't expect that. It's this is a really good Metal Gear Solid ripoff. I like it. Huh? Who was that? <laughs> this is really good. Okay. Got him. Down for the count. No, I'm not gonna do Merry Gear Solid 2. Next year, I'll do Mer Merry Gear Solid 2. I, I have a limited time frame today, and if. Santa Claus! Oh, fuck off. Mommy, does that exist? No! Santa Claus! Um... Yeah, that's... <laughs> I'm already planning streams for a year from now. Huh? What was that? Oh, you can actually knock him out. With like a second, like a millisecond accuracy. If you, uh... Like, they can kind of look in your direction for a second, if you're really good. Huh? Who was that? Bobby, why are there any presents under the tree? It's a Santa trip. Claus? It's a tripwire. Santa Claus! Who saw me? Exist? No! Santa Claus! Oh my god. Huh? Who was that? I keep trying to press X split instead of the game to press the TV on. All right, so camera. Huh? Who was that? Huh? What was that? Huh? Huh? Okay. Huh? TV. Santa Claus. Fuck! Santa Claus. Santa Claus. I got this, though. 
I could just be a little quicker and I could do it. Close though, getting closer. Bobby, does that exist? Bobby, no. Santa Claus. Worst, worst voice, 2015. Luckily, the year's almost over. Santa Claus. You got it. Bobby, why are there any presents under the tree? You gotta be shitting me. Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Yay! There it is, there's the tree! I did it! Major, I've delivered the presents. Mission accomplished. Good. Now get out of there. Are you kidding me? Now I have to do it backwards? Yes, I have to artificially extend playtime somehow. Get me through the chimney. Oh, wow. Excuse me. I, I don't know what got into me. Uh, anyway, good luck. Bye. No. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. Did... Wait, what the hell? What the fuck? Oh, it's Snake. I am now Solid Snake? Wait, what? A USB tactical fitted with a suppressor. <laughs> Holy shit. Freeze. I wasn't talking about the weather, old man. No wonder it sounded you. like Solid Snake. It was Solid That's Snake. Right, Santa. <laughs> it's me, Solid Snake. But you probably know me better as Santa's little helper. We have the what same voice. After taking down Big Boss in Outer Heaven, I was sent on a mission to assassinate his twin brother, Big Beard. Big Beard. <laughs> you, Sorry. See. You were part of the Los Bigotes Perfectos project. The Los Bigotes Perfectos project. <laughs> such perfect project? Metal Gear parody. Yeah. The Los Bigotes Perfectos project. It was a top secret project started by Andrew Johnson back in the 19th century. President Johnson was quite displeased with his lack of facial hair, especially after the abundant beard of his predecessor, Abraham Lincoln. That's why he started funding research on bioengineering the perfect beard. The research resulted in the birth of twin clones. Los Bigotes Perfectos. Amazing. One of the twins received the genes for the perfect beard, and this twin became known as Big Beard. But for Big Beard to be created, there needed to be another twin to whom all the recessive genes were to go. What's his name? Liquid this twin Beard? became known as Jack. Oh, sorry. Because, well, he didn't have Jack. Jack eventually became a legendary mercenary, earning the title Big Boss. However, he eventually succumbed to madness and attempted to create a nation of perpetual conflict, which he called Outer Heaven. A couple of years ago, I infiltrated Outer Heaven and prevented Big Boss from launching the walking nuclear tank. Metal Gear. <coughs> Metal Gear. Yes. Metal Gear. It was only after defeating Big Boss that we learned of his twin brother. Me. You. We can't yeah. risk having another big boss threatening the world with a nuke. That's a snook? Sent on a mission to find an Is it in his sniz? Big beard. I see. I'd always wondered why my beard was so perfect and white. I'm sorry, big beard. But in order to complete my mission, I must eliminate you. I understand. Any last words? Merry Christmas, Happy motherfucker! Christmas to all. Oh, <laughs> and to all, a good night. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> wow, that was special. In my love and emotion, the hell is this? <laughs> Overcome all my doubts and my fears Will you come close and tell me That you'll be here every year after year after year Wow, this, this was kind of amazing stalking through the night don't you know that I've been good and I believe you like I should So give me a sign that I'm right Santa Eater Your presence is all that I long for in my dreams Sounds a little Kermit-y, but he's doing a good job I adjust the snow sign up and by You hear my voice as I scream Alright, Rank, okay all right, I'll do the sequel now. Uh, I won't wait a year to show you the sequel. Yeah. That... Yeah. Yes. I defeated Big Beard and accomplished my mission. No, he wasn't aware that he was the twin brother of the legendary Big Boss. Yes. I must say, his beard was quite stunning. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No. Should he have? No, I I don't seem to recall him having an eye patch. No, no bandana either. You mean to tell me? Impossible. He said his name was Saint Nick. Lennon. <laughs> wait, wait, what? I've made a grave mistake. All right, Lennon. Not Lenin, like, you know, Russia. John Lennon. Oh. Mammoth. Pretty good. Almost better than Metal Gear Solid 5. Uh, Reg convinced me to do the sequel. It's going to cut into the weird game time. Like, the getting weird with it is going to be a little shorter. How long is the sequel? Is is it the same general length as this one? Because apparently this one's amazing. Mary Gear Solid 2 is amazing. It will be tossed! That's right. Getting weird with it will be tossed. There's not enough time. I'm warning you with peace and love. It's a few hours. Oh, I can't do that. I'm not going to do it now because I, I only have an hour. <laughs> I'm sorry. Listen, I, I guarantee you it's going to be great. I'll either do it tomorrow or next year. I will make a uh, a poll about it. at some point. So I'll tell you what, let's take a quick break and I'll be back with some weird games, which will also be enjoyable. But yeah, if Merry Gear Solid 2 was a little short, if it was the same length as the first one, I would do it now. But uh, it's, that's just a little bit much. So let's take a quick break. I'll be back and our Christmas weird will be the prime feature of the next hour. So stick around and hopefully play with some of your Christmas toys while you're waiting. Be right back.